Hi! In this project, we will make a weighing machine. This weighing machine is very sensitive and is accurate up to 3 grams. It can measure up to 20 kg of weight which can easily be increased just by changing a component involved in this project. It is quite simple and does not require much time or components if you have skills. Without wasting any more time, let's get into it. The star of this project is this load cell along with HX71124 bit ADC. You can see that the load cell is rated for 20 kgs and you can increase the maximum weight your machine can measure just by using a higher rated load cell. You will also need a 7 segment display module. I use this TM1637 based module which was actually built for displaying time but we will make it work. I got myself an 8mm and a 12mm thick plywood. On the 8mm plywood I marked one square of 24cm and another square of 21cm and afterwards cut it using a jigsaw. On the load cell, you can find the arrow indicating the direction in which force must be applied. Keeping that in mind, I mark the mounting holes on the bigger plywood plate. The mounting holes in my load cell are not identical. One is M5 and another is M4. I drill the holes using a fitting drill bit. You can see I have marked the center of the plate using pencil for accuracy. I kept the smaller plate on top of bigger plate so that it is in the center of it, leaving equal space on all the four corners. Then I flipped it and made the required M4 hole on the smaller plate using the hole on the bottom plate as guide. Then I tightened M5 nuts and bolts on the bottom plate and fixed one end of the load cell to it. Best way is to use this kind of spacers but I wasn't able to find them near me so I did it this way. Using the same method I attached the top plate to another end of the load cell and tightened it using a screwdriver and nose plier. This is important because all the stress must only be experienced by the load cell if you want to measure the weight correctly. These are the connections I made between the load cell and the ADC. The plate must be kept perfectly horizontal while measuring. I used 1 inch thick MDF as a standoffs and stick it using some glue to the bottom of the plate. I kept some heavy weight above the plate and left it to dry. After that was done, I connected the HX711 module to Arduino in this manner and uploaded this calibration sketch to Arduino. I opened the serial monitor, kept a known weight on the plate and noticed the readings. What we have to do here is to determine the calibration factor of our load cell which gives the correct readings of the weight on the load cell. I used A, S, D and F and Z, X, C and V to increase or decrease the calibration factor respectively. When the reading shown on the serial monitor matches the known weight of the object on the load cell, I stopped, took a note of the calibration factor and disconnected everything. I measured the distance between the top of the bottom plate and top of the top plate and removed the top plate. I marked the length and breadth for four corners on the 12mm plywood and then cut it. I made the front one be welded at 45 degrees so that when I put the display there, it is easy to read the weight. On the back side, I cut a square for the barrel DC connector. I drilled two holes on all the four sides of the bigger plate where I have to fix the sides I just cut. Then I drove the screws right into the plywood to fix the sides at their places. For now, I left the back side and I will fix it later. If you have to verify the working of your display, connect it to Arduino like this and upload this sketch. The display should come from 0 to 999 and then done should be printed on the display. You can see the hole I made for the display turned out to be a great blunder. That's what happens if you don't have a proper plan and I'll have to fix it. So to fix the blender, I removed the remaining top portion completely and attached the display using hot glue as the holes on the module were very small and I didn't have that much small nuts and bolts. I will use an Arduino Pro Mini for this project. I made the data and clock connections from both the displays to the Arduino. Always use hot glue to make sure that the connections are stronger, otherwise the wire will get loosened or broken if experience is stress. To distribute power, I soldered two copper wires to a small perf board and I will connect the power and ground wires of the modules and the Arduino right into it. While I was at it, I also soldered the DC barrel connectors positive and ground to the copper wires. I soldered the VCC and ground of the HX711 from the top of the headers to the distribution board and I connected the display modules VCC and ground to the 711 using female headers. This way both modules are connected to the power supply. For the Arduino, I used another set of female headers and soldered the other end to the distribution board directly. After all connections were made, I applied 5 volts from adapter to the circuit and everything seems to work fine. The fluctuations you notice is due to the power supply.
the cleaner the power supply, the lesser will be the fluctuations. It was even more when I powered the circuit using Arduino's power supply, but using an adapter seems to reduce the fluctuations. So make sure you use a clean power supply as averaging the readings or adding a capacitor won't help. Best method is to use a separate linear voltage regulator for HX711 module. Using hot glue, I secured the wires and the modules, keeping in mind that they will not get in the way if the top plate comes downward due to the weight on it, and after that I screwed the top plate in place. Make sure that the corners do not touch. There are some woodworking flaws in my model, otherwise it looks great. After I was satisfied, I glued the barrel connector to its place and also fixed the backside using some hot glue. So now you've got yourself a self-made weighing machine which is quite accurate and more than enough for hobby purposes. Keep one thing in mind though, while powering it on, make sure no weight is kept on the plate as it will lead to wrong readings. Power it on first and then put the weight you want to measure. That was all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something on the way. If so, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Till next time.